Hello guys, today we make homemade simple porter beer. Classic porter that you can do at home very easy. Don't worry, I will write here on the video the ingredient every time that I use it. Plus you can find the list of all the ingredients in the comment here in the description or the video. Let's start. We need one kilogram of Pilsner malt plus Carafa Special 2, 90 gram. Cara Munich Type 3, 130 gram, Oats Flakes, 150 gram, Cara 2, 40 gram. We need 4.5 liter for the mesh that are already here in the pot, plus for the sparkling, 3.5 liter of water. But now for the mesh in, when the water reaches the temperature of 52 Celsius degree, we add the cereal and we should wait 15 minutes. I will remove the pot from the stove because the stove will be hot and will change the temperature. After 15 minutes, we take our pot, we put again on the stove, we turn on the stove and we should reach the temperature of 66 Celsius degree. When we reach the temperature, we turn off the stove, we remove the pot and we should wait one hour. After 60 minutes, we put again our pot on the stove, we turn on the stove, we should reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree. After we remove from the stove and we wait 15 minutes. This is the mesh out. We collect the first part of the wort and we add 3.5 liter of water that I put already on the stove. We need to sparkling to wash we can say our grain to collect all the sugar and all the substance. Again, the water need to reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree. Waiting these 15 minutes, we can speak about the hopping process. After 15 minutes, you collect all your wort. You can uh, use the grain that remain to make biscuits for the bread. Or if you have chicken, you can give to your chicken. They will be very, very happy and they will make spectacular eggs. I don't know uh, if chicken is the right word for the one that made the eggs. It's another uh, name but I don't remember. After we take our uh, wharf, we put on the stove, we turn on the stove, when it start boiling, we add the Columbus Ops, 10 gram. After 50 minutes, we add two, gram, two grams of Amarillo Ops, and we keep boiling other 10 minutes. In total, should be 60 minutes. After we remove the pot from the stove, we put in the basin and we should drop the temperature faster than we can.
waiting these 60 minutes we can prepare the starter so you take a half glass of uh, wolf also if you have not put the hops here doesn't matter the important thing is that should be a room temperature if it's too hot will kill your yeast now in this glass i will put half teaspoon of brewing yeast remember no other kind of yeast but brewing yeast i cover with a plastic wrap and when we have finished our uh, opening process and put everything in the fermenter the starter will be very active After 50 minutes, we add the 2 grams of amarillo and we boil for other 10 minutes. So after 60 minutes in total, we put in your uh, basin in cold water. Remember to change the water every maybe 5-10 minutes or if you have some ice, you can add some ice in the water. When the wolf reach the room temperature, we put directly in the fermenter. So, see you later. The starter is very active. Uh, probably you noticed that I have two fermenter. Why? Because somebody of you asked me, can I use the Jack Daniel chips also when we do the beer? So in my small fermenter, I put 50 gram of Jack Daniel chips and 1.5 liter of the future beer. The other remnant uh, part I put in the other fermenter. Now I will add the yeast in both of them. I will close with the lid, on the lid the airlock and see you tomorrow for the updating. For sure tomorrow the fermentation will be very active. But before I let you know the original gravity. Original gravity is 1044. And in less than 24 hours, you can see from the airlock that the fermentation is very active. Now I will show you the foam. See you at the end of the fermentation. After nine days, we can put the beer in the bottles. Why? Because the airlock was at level. Remember to remove it before you open the tap. You know the alcohol inside the airlock will go inside your fermenter. When you check the final gravity, remember to shake a little bit your beer because the bubbles will push your uh, tool up so the uh, measurement will be wrong. So now I put apart and after I tell you the final gravity, the alcohol content of our porter. For the porter, I will use 6 grams of sugar per one liter of beer. My bottle are uh, 33 CL, so I will use my sugar cubes. They are only two grams. Final gravity, 1006. The original gravity was 1044, the difference is, is 38. We should divide this number with the coefficient, that is 7.5. The alcohol content of our beer at the moment is 5%. Plus the sugar that we put in the bottle, the final alcohol content will be around 5.5%. Here in the jar, I put the chips, 
that I use in one of the fermenter. You can use these uh, Jack Daniel chips like a starter for the future beer. You put in a glass jar like me, close with the lid, and you can store in the fridge. They can last more than six months. To recognize the one with the Jack Daniel chips, I put a sticker and made with love. In total, with this recipe, we got five liters of beer. Now we should wait to have a very spectacular beer, two months of fermentation in the bottles. If you are eager to drink your beer, you should wait at least two weeks. So see you for the testing. Spectacular. You can taste the caramel coffee taste like a real porter, very strong. Perfect. Now I eat a few peanuts homemade to clean my mouth. And now let's try the one with the wooden chips, smoking chips, and let's see if we can taste the whiskey or the smoked flavor. Mm. You can already smell it. And plus, I don't know if you've noticed, the foam is more persistent. Spectacular. If you like the smoked taste, like the whiskey, this is your recipe. Okay guys, remember to subscribe to the channel to leave me a like it, to watch and share this video with your friends. If you have some requests, some advice, always down in the comment. If you have some recipe like this one to share with me, you can write me in the comment, you can write me an email, you can write me on Instagram. Up to you. Bye bye. Spectacular.